I just want to know, like, uh, uh, this yoga is making me very delicate and uh, it is actually make me… So you are one of the ardent followers, is it? <laughs> Give the I microphone to the students, okay, finish the question. I just want to know, like, uh, in this world which is… a uh, lo lot of people, if we… Uh, if our love is boundless, some people are manipulative. So, uh, like, should we restrict it or… Uh, should he be, should he not expect anything, uh, how to, how to handle it? What is this question? Yoga is making you delicate, what is that? Like, uh, it's uh, making my love boundless. It, it, uh, it, it's not making me to choose people uh, in workplace, in personal life, I'm oh beginning to say. Oh there are a lot of backstabbers around. You're beginning to fall in love with your neighbors also. <laughs> now, uh, please understand this. The yoga that you're practicing is about enhancing the interiority of who you are. The outside has to be conducted as it needs to be conducted. When you do not know how to conduct the outside, you think it's because of your love, it's not so. It's just because of your stupidity that you cannot conduct the situation that the way you want it, isn't it? So if you're driving on the street and you see a buffalo and uh, if you go give it a kiss and say, please, I love you, please move away, <laughs> buffalo is not the problem, isn't it? You're the problem, yes or no? Is buffalo the problem? Buffalo is be behaving according to its nature you are not be behaving according to your nature. That's a problem with you. So, that is not because of love, that is uh, because of confusion and whatever, and that definitely yoga has not done that to you. Yoga <laughs> brings clarity to you, not confusion <laughs> So, our ability to handle situations, if they are impaired, because of some fanciful idea of love or whatever nonsense you have, then that's not love, that's just you're silly and soft in your head, isn't it? Should love empower you? Okay, even if you're loving, should love empower you or impair you? It should empower you, isn't it? If it's impairing you, it's not love. You have some convoluted idea about love. If you love somebody, will you do pretty things to them always or will you do what's needed? Huh? Will you… you do what's needed, isn't it? If you have a child and you love this child, if you have to feed him, you feed him, if you have to hug him, you hug him, if you have to whack him, you whack him, you do what's needed, isn't it? So, love does not make you lose your discretion. If love… if you are losing your discretion, it is because you, because you're becoming a Dhritarashtra. You know Dhritarashtra problem? Nation is right now gripped with Dhritarashtra problem. Don't know what that is? Don't know what Dhritarashtra is? Dhritarashtra. You heard of the man? Ah. That man. He is the biggest influence right now on the country. Hmm. <laughs>